welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about violets, the natural helpers. So violets, they freely become any other color in the master chakras um, system in order to do what needs to be done in the world around them. They fill in the gaps for everyone and are the only master chakra to become another very easily whenever needed and however often. Um, becoming a chameleon takes up a major portion of their time and awareness. Um, they blend the work of leader, promoter, thinker, fixer, teacher, <laughs> or artist in with their own means of serving, which comes directly from the crown chakra. So right up here. Violets do what needs to be done no matter what, which is why they reach for the, the other chakra colors more than anyone else. Um, so, finally, when one of the other colors is missing, a violet will simply take their place. Um, violets put themselves last and others first. Um, they are the ones who do this. Um, so a basic definition would be violets stand first among their friends to be described as extremely nice, empathetic people. Um, the nicest of the nice, they receive the nickname Saint um, from some of their friends. That's because no other color is consistently or no other color is as consistent and shares unconditional love in word and deed. They come across softly and gently. They speak with kindness and compassion. Each gift has special powers and abilities, and violets are no exception to that. Um, these experts are people serve, know, ha um, these experts, um, blah, 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 these people, these experts are as people serve, know what to give us because we know what we need. Um, they address what we must do physically to maintain ourselves and our work by working with us side by side. Um, they give us comfort when we feel burdened or otherwise uncared for. They pitch in wherever they are needed for the care and, and um, refinement of Earth's humanity, environment, and animals. They shine their light brightly um, <laughs> brightly, so we can see it. If I can get the words out today. We know them by the light in their eyes and in their work, and they are drawn to help us. Um, they soothe the calm, they soothe and they calm the fears. Um, we know them by the, I just said that. They listen, they channel the divine in certain ways so that we can hold and see the light. Um, they make everything brighter when going about their work. Um, they can't help. They, they just can't help it. That's just who they are. Um, you feel touched kind of like by an angel when you walk by a violet man or woman. Um, the kinds of service acts violets um, perform require their attention to details. Um, so they pay attention to them. They want to have everything they need to help you with your project. Their closest uh, um, are stuffed with uh, their clo closets. I can't read today either. My own notes. Their closets are stuffed with supplies that someone that they might encounter might need. Violets follow others' directions with close attention, taking instructions in quickly and in executing them efficiently. No one wants to be called a follower, but following someone else's lead is a valuable skill that has merit throughout our industry, industrial world. Um, violets come by following um, nature honestly. That means they tune into a pile of different energies, um, findings, and sources in order to help accomplish a goal for others. Um, they work on people to make them whole. They work on endeavors they can get behind for the good of all. 
They can function alone and independently or attached to a group. The opportunities arise for them to delegate all the things they need to be done for the rest of us. Um, this makes them lead helpers. So they're alongside the reds most of the time. So how the light affects them? Because their master chakra generates light at the top of the chakra system, they are irrigated by its light and often receive buckets of the highest frequency <laughs> that can be received on any soul ray. Um, crown chakra light um, saturates their mind, their heart, and their being. So that's why they are constantly under the influence of love and compassion and distribute it without thinking. Um, they are very sensitive to their surroundings, their feelings, um, and other people and who and where those energies are. In addition, Violet's access to the entire spectrum of light or all the master chakras allows them to connect energetically with a number of people in a number of different ways that others wouldn't find very overwhelming. They can even um, be overlooked or unnoticed because of the softness and inherent high vibration of their light. Their light being is flexible that they bend into a crowd unnoticed. They softly and easily assist giving them presidents. Their light um, facilitates this. So how they embody um, the crown chakra. People can experience unconditional love from a violet who is in their gifted state. Their focus on serving others allows this to be so. Um, it comes from their ability to see the divine plan through their divine connection to source, God, um, whichever one, higher power, which they do and the rest of us can't understand. Um, it makes it easy for them to channel compassion and goodwill in situations others resist and even hate. Um, though they can do much to discredit themselves, their vibrational frequency will always call them back to a point of creating from spirit what needs to be done in the physical. Bullets use the energies and gifts of the other chakras from the inside out when doing their work. They seem to have a special ability to take ownership of another spiritual gift and use it from its own, um, its own vantage point. Because they aim to use it specifically to help another person, they get to know it very well. This is why violets are referred to as a jack of all traits. They go um, visiting. When they visit another chakra, they blend with its energy in order to become that gift. Um, the reason for this is because they are specifically focused on helping another person whenever they do what they do. Um, no other master chakra focuses on helping per se. They focus on helping through doing something else, like fixing something or teaching something. Violets use the other gifts in order to help. So some of the gifts of violets are um, regarding you as your best self. So the last thing a violet would do is get in your way, creating an obstacle, emotional or otherwise, that embeds you. If you betray a violet, he or she can sp still speak to you to your good qualities. They can still think of you as your greatest self, not your B-grade one. Um, they wish to interact with you even when you can't live up to their standards. This can sometimes cause a lot of pain in the person who must hear how great they are when they are misbehaving. When, um, yeah. Violets with less self-control can't do this as effectively, but it's within every violet's power to hold the divine vision of you 
up for um for you to see with or without strategy so some ballots surprise and distress their friends by talking about the important things either they themselves or the other person or the other people were going to do in the future most of the time these were positive visions but when someone tells you that you can be the principal of your school and you are just a teacher it can cause anxiety or fear of success so have you ever felt unworthy of what a violet told you you could become because violets actually really believe in you and they know that you can you can succeed at anything so Violets are really good. Another one of their gifts is connecting to others. So violets have a lot of feelers out there gently touching the people that they help. Um, that's the way they learn how to, how to time when to do things. They feel the subtle signals in the, in the energy of others. In the energy grid or web that we're all a part of. Their own energy is often engaged far away from them, though, in through the um, ethers. You can tell this is so because they do get grounded and release this energy. They get back such a large amount of their own energy in return that they look brighter and instantly healthy. Normally, a certain amount of the violet's energy is always engaged for others. So, another one is of the gifts is helping through acts of kindness. So, violets represent the ultimate support person you can have. Um, the person who performs um, continual action on your behalf to be in service to you and move you into your next level. They directly involve their head and take charge of things hands on. They don't sit at the sidelines and do nothing. They walk your path right next to you and help you with everything down to the tiniest detail. This is how they serve the divine or God or source or however you want to call it. That's why they are so happy to help you. And while they do, they are, of course, kind. To violets, God, source, is love. Um, they are here to share that love as God would with others. Remember, God doesn't just perform huge acts of significance for all to see, but small acts of kindness no one sees. Um, so violence getting the mail for you and doing your dishes is a sacred duty because it helps you take a step on your path of spiritual advancement and, and outfitting. They work to help you meet specific goals while doing everything administrative at the same time. They've got your back while also moving you forward step by step. So, they like working in a group to greater numbers, focus the violet's attention, and give them a larger container in which to engage all their helpful mindfulness. Um, violets use a large energy in different places to focus on one large task with lots of moving parts. Is perfect for them. Even in a group, though, their focus remains on the individual. How can I help this person? They ask. Though the people they help, they support a cause with the investment of energy, time, and awareness. So, and the cause um, they must support becomes important to them over time, where they they consciously choose it or not so they um another gift is working diligently on behalf of others so violets can be but don't have to be worker bees um they typically occupy themselves in whatever most basic or refined way suits them um for example some nurses work in home care and some work in the emergency room right there are more and less complex ways to serve all violets can be proud of what they do because for them service is never secondary it is usually connected to what physically needs to happen for things to go well 
and they are proud to support physical service tasks. Their goal is that things go smoothly. Therefore, violence performed jobs across the board. Um, they are the best spiritual gift to employ as secretaries. But they don't all want to be secretaries, right? They could be the CEO of the company. If they do this, they will perform the job like a violet. Um, because cleaning the kitchen is so much more than it appears to be. Sometimes to clean up that world and get it arranged correctly means you just have to be the CEO instead. They bring the unending spiritual energy down to the physical world to open the door so that others may go through. Um, there are more violets in existence than any other color because they let the other master chakras do their job. So what sets the violets apart from other master chakras is the characteristics of taking any job from the standpoint of serving all. Violets do any job in order to serve the um, the people that are involved. For example, one violet um, may talk about her mission. Um, she indicates that it is to help the children, right? Now, anyone can say that. However, she means it strongly. Now, any um, her goal is to be in service first rather than getting the, um, the district to a better bottom line. She might do that too, but if she does, it will be to create the best possible experience for the children in her district. Service comes first with the thought being, how may I help the people under my jurisdiction? With service being of primary importance, violets will do anything and can do anything as part of their mission to serve. Judging the fact that violets want to do the little things sometimes holds them back in understanding their own importance. Other people can refuse them for wanting to get them a glass of water. This is not love, but still, what other people find tedious, violets find essential because of the way in which they show care through the activities. When other people would rather do something more important and more interesting, there is usually a violet who will find it more than acceptable to do that job in, in style. It isn't what they do, it's how they do it that makes it violet. That's the way it is with all of their gifts. It's how we do what we do and why that determine our master chakra. The reason violets won't mind doing something basic for someone, even if they catch themselves in a um, higher hierarchy system where the person has a lot of power, is because they believe that giving you their care, concern, attention, and kindness is enough. It is important. They understand that ultimately they do whatever they end up doing on an individual level for um, for the person and the greater good of all. They like to think globally, act locally. They are masters of that. So, raising us unconventionally. Violets love to raise children because they like to teach people how to be in the world and work together without problems and harmony. If there are no children around, violets are equally inclined to see adults as children of God. Just getting things done is never enough for them. Um, in, in their gifts, they work to teach us how to do what they do, um, how to be more compassionate and nicer to others as we live our lives. They model it. They discuss it. They critique others' behavior. They give us pointers if they can. What's that you say? Functional behavior being taught reflectively by humans. Yes, it does happen. Most people don't teach other people how to be civil, affectionate, loving people, but violets do. Um, or can if they don't. That's what makes them unconventional. 
They seek out ways to teach tolerance and the high standards of behavior. Um, still, they don't want to harm us or upset us in the process. They believe that our feelings matter and need to address our concerns one by one to get the job done right. Locked up, if you will. Whenever, so, violets are, violets are, um, have special abilities to carve up a dollar in more ways than any other color because of the way they approach service. Even though violets can have enough money to spend freely, it bears mentioning that if they feel that money is tight, they will figure out how many people can be best, how many people can be, can be best served. Like, I just cannot talk today. <laughs> or rather, how many purposes can be served by just $10, right? They will leverage the energy as far as it can go. Figuring that $10 can buy bus transportation for two to a park for a homemade picnic instead of being spent on a t-shirt. Life is better when we do it together, when we put our energy into another person. My dog is turning to chew on my coat here. Um, they, another one of the gifts is lifting you up. So violets are good at lifting people up by helping them feel good about themselves, right? When getting to know you, they become interested in who you are and all the little details about you and encourage you on your journey however possible. It can feel like flattery. One violet already mentioned here would say to certain people, he knew you are a beautiful person. He not only believed what he said they did, they, they did. while it share what they see, and they see a lot. Their crown chakra position puts them in touch with the divine and lets them unroll the divine plan like a map before them. They can give us information about what is really going on from the master plan itself. You come to feel uplifted when they help you because they serve at the wind beneath your wings, not a valuable force of power. They whisper, it's time to go. It's time to grow. There are gods and goddesses of love and compassion, like um, Kanyan. Um, they want to give you what you want, right? It becomes easy to give someone a genuine compliment when you are always noticing details occurring to that person in their life and can see their higher self at the same time. Violets are especially good at making um, connections between what happens and how people treat each other. They like to catch you being good and doing something right. They genuinely do this without being hard on others. Um, in their gifts, they give criticism with mercy and kindness. Once a violet, um, yeah, I lost my thing there. So, so violets are kind of like um, the Mary Poppins. Have you ever watched that movie? That was my favorite movie. They are kind of like the Mary Poppins. Um, when they are needed, they land. <laughs> when they are no longer needed, they fly away, right? So everything is always already okay. The violet philosophy of living in this world. When in service, violets stay connected to the divine. Um, executing a sense that everything is ultimately alright. They personally know the con um, contentment that lies within and behind things as a form of ultra-compassion. They transmute their sense of peace mixed with the love they help others with. It comes from an inept perspective that they have that what they do is, highly, or is rightly arranged by the universe. They believe in the good in people. 
since they know that more good exists than bad. That a plan is in place, and since they get in touch with how the vast university universe is making sense on an energy level all the time, they roll with the punches. They have access to the divine perspective on what happens on earth from within their heart. This causes their heart to extend to all the world. If they do feel something is wrong, this is why they engage themselves to help. Their helping perspective arises from a higher perspective on belief in humanity and goals that bring us to a better place. Their sense of okayness succeeds even while helping people in a crisis because they don't think that anything is really unjust. Ultimately, those situations are good for making um, things better. They wish to bring all that is into alignment with what is right and due to humans in their evolved state. They take an on acts of service because they believe people can be more than they have presently chosen to become. They can see these visions, these stars from the crown chakra on top of the heads, connected to the divine in ways no other color strives to be in service to the divine and service to all. So moving on and giving up. That being said, violets do not respect those who have a never say die attitude about life. It is time to give up on the violin. It's time to give up. If you don't like it anymore or want any want it anymore, they can agree with you. Their gift is feminine and like a, a feminine warrior goddess, they will end a creation when they when the time comes. When they feel that they have experienced enough with a certain person or simply know they cannot continue to help them, that this person must help themselves, they will move on. If something isn't working out, they won't stay there indefinitely and wallow in it. They will also clean up their loose ends so that the person left behind doesn't have to worry about the fallout vibrations financial and emotional from the end of the relationship. At least they do their best to make this so. They have an innate sense of understanding that when they leave a person, it allows that one to move on onto the next available opportunity. They have, got, they have gotten that person as ready as they can for the new reality, and now it's time to let them fly and go and get it on their own. Sorry. My. <laughs> so. Violets usually will go last. So they put everybody else first. So violets hold themselves back for others to take place before them. Mustering their ego for other times and places. Right? They themselves put their own needs last. This is not necessarily a trap. They often do surrender to be last in something to serve the coming good through allowing another to shine, to literally lift them into their greatness by holding space for them to become more of themselves. In these moments of letting someone else go first, they hold space for the divine to come in so that that person can live um live in, walk in, and grasp his or her own capa uh, capabilities. If you want to be more like a violet, then you must put your ego aside and be ready to channel the divine for others as you put their needs first. It's another aspect of bringing things to completion, that violets see their place as last. They see that that's exactly when it is their time to step in. So, that is a few of their gifts. Um, so some of their traps are violets will use their own connection to love and compassion to gain the moral high ground, right? They will attempt to betray you as less than kind person instead of negotiating for a solution to both sides in a conflict. That's because when they are on one side and you on another, and they go into a self-worth slump, 
it becomes hard for them to stay neutral, not judge, and see the positive on both sides, which is their gift, um, even when it comes to themselves. In their traps, they um, tend to align with the person most in good standing with them. When that underdog, um, good standing with them, when that underdog or even their overdog is wrong, right? They will rudely tell you that you suck because they have a better future. Um, they usually actually say you are not being kind enough and you do not deserve XYZ, right? This is a moral stance that comes from Christianity, which many violets have decided um, will be their motto when they are upset. They can see truth, but not clearly enough when blinded by their own emotion and pain. They often get disabled by wanting to defend someone or something without thinking about the consequences. This comes from being too territorial without being grounded enough in reality. They will defend whoever they have decided needs saving unless shown a new way of being, even if that means themselves. It's not the real reality they desire. It is the act of saving another, rescuing someone from their pain, um, which they value more because they are empathetic. But they desire that which they feel will avert pain but doesn't actually do so. They simply choose their side or choose who they are going to destroy today and then try to smear your character. Their desire to be good leads them to destroy the only relationship that could potentially bring them out of harm's way. Sorry. I have a dog sitting here trying to chew up stuff. Uh, what was I? The desire to be good leads them to destroy uh, the only relationship that could potentially bring them out of harm's way. They go on to choose um, the dungeon over being heard. Um, the dungeon over stepping into the light. The light of the garbage dump outside Jerusalem. Hell instead of the porch light of someone who actually dares to defend them from danger, right? They will be good until it kills them. Um, this is how they get walked on. It is they who have the most to learn in such a case. Because this kind of um, vindictiveness, if I can get the word out, is a low form of one-upmanship. Which comes from the survival brain, right? Violets are the least evolved when it comes to expecting other people to be like them. A trap of any other color. Even though in their gifts they wear compassion like a glove. They can turn their hand and smack you across the face just as easily, easily as smoothly, and smoothly as anyone when pained. So don't be fooled. A violet can hurt you just as much as any other color in their traps. So, famous people that are violets are Michelle Obama, who cares about everything, especially children, and Mother Teresa is another one who embodied compassion in her charity work. Um, another violet is um, Robert Hydevik from Shark Tank. Um, because he always cares about the person behind the entrepreneur, um, wants to give them what they need, and it is the least abrasive shark. Though not a pushover, he is generous with his money, often in contrast to his peers. I am a violet as well. I have learned that a while back. That, and that's why I was pushover, you know, and got in a lot of the situations that I got in before, like the domestic violence and all that. Because of being a violet. Always wanting to help. So, I hope that helps you. These are all the colors of the Master Chakras. And I will leave these last two up for you for the next couple of days. And then they will be taken down as well. And put into the membership site. So, 
along with some other things, amazing things and techniques that are in there to help you grow into building your own business or improving your own life. So until next time, have a blessed day.